What's going on, guys? It's me, Mark Reels, and today I got something a little special. Nothing too big or flashy or nothing to brag about. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Jordans, but I'm not just going to go in there and pick up some Jordans and drop, like, what, a hundred and something dollars on some Jordans for no reason. I mean, but I end up going with the, um, the Shell Toe Superstars Adidas. And um, I like I, I like them, man. And pretty much, uh, these are only been worn once from the picnic. Yeah, you can tell. It's more like a family reunion, but I only wore them once. Now I was gonna pick them up and then take them back. You know what I mean? Cause I mean they were all right, but kind of got a little scuff there too. But I, I wasn't. They wasn't really fitting too well, and they're actually my size too. So when I went back into Foot Locker, the guy told me, he was like, well, the reason why, you know, they wasn't fitting all that hot is because I had them laced up wrong. So I'm like, what the hell? When I first got them, this is the way, this is the way they came. So he actually showed me the correct way to lace these. And so I won't get that little nasty crease right there. So this is how they came in a box. And as you see, once I put them on, it's kind of snug on my foot. So it kind of so this is the correct way to wear the shoe now you can see this looks like a totally different shoe you don't get that nasty little crease right here you know what i mean and it's and, it, and it's beautiful i mean look at this i mean actually i'm going to show you guys how to how he showed me how to do this now he actually took all the strings out in front of me and laced them up like this and i like it it kind of gives it that um that old school ron dmc look i mean but they didn't have they only left one lace in and they kept it all like this but there are several ways you can do this and i'm going to show you guys show you guys how to do that so once you get the shoe it's going to look like this once you first get the shoe now when i first got it i didn't i didn't even bother untying this this is how it came so the first thing you want to do is um untie this so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do it slow so you guys can see it so you want to untie this and get all of that out of there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out all of this now you're gonna take out all of these and you're gonna leave this this last one in and I'm gonna show you how to do this all right so I'm gonna do that get that out of there just like that you guys can follow along to this video because I know some people you be looking like damn why you do that you know now once you take out all the laces you're gonna get something that looks like this now remember keep this last one in right here now what you want to do is take both of these and line them all the way up and you're gonna want to make sure they match you want to make sure they're even so you're gonna do just like that and make sure they're all the way even it kind of took me a minute to get the hang of it though but once that's even you don't have to adjust this or none of that all right now so you want to take that left shoestring all right take that left shoestring and we're just gonna slide it up in here just like that now, I might turn around a little bit but the ending result you want it to be nice and even and what it's gonna do by putting it in this way, it's preventing the shoe from getting that nasty little crease like that. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure that's nice and even, you know what I'm saying? But like, all right, you see how I got a little dirt right here? Just wanna take that, flip it around like that so it's nice and white, you feel me? And you wanna take that part and you wanna just put it right there slide in there just like that and you gonna have something that looks like that now you got this one at the bottom see how they both hanging now so you want to take this shoestring take the right one and slide it up in here right get it up in there and we're gonna put it right in there you feel me and I'm just gonna See how that looks? Just like that. Now that you got something that looks just like this, all you're gonna do is take this shoestring, 
throw it. Well, we're going to flip that one because that one's dirty. And just throw it right across. And we're going to take this one underneath. Slide it up. And we're going to take this one and put it inside of this hole. Just like that. Pull it out. Then we're going to take this one and put it across. And just like that. And we're going to repeat the same method. It's going to be doing the same thing, yo. Same thing. All right. Got that one. Take this one. Throw it right across. Just like that. All right. And now, until we get to the last holes up the top, take this one. You got the same thing on that side. Take it. Throw it right in. That. All right, get in there. All right. Just like that. And then we got that to go up. Just like that. We're just going to throw that right across. Just like that. Boom. And repeat the same thing. Go up. One more. Put that one through the loop. Just like that. Pull it out. Throw it right across. Make sure it's nice and even. See how that's starting to look? Put it right in there. Slide it through, right? And now that you got the last finish, you should have something that looks just like this. Yeah, just like that. Now, comparison to the other one, the only thing is, is this one has six laces going across. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one has five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want to get this look, now this look is for like, say if you got on some like Levi's or some long tight leg pants like if you want the tongue to stick out like this all you have to do is just tie this up you know what i'm saying maybe do it like that tie this up around here like put it in a knot and just like tuck them back there you know what i'm saying and then they have them tied up and then you can have your shoe to look just like that you feel me now say if you got on like some cargo shorts you know what I'm saying and you just wanted to have your um, ankle socks showing and you don't want the tongue to really stick out but you want them to look more like that all you have to do is just tie this up right here and just stick it in there you know what I'm saying it'd be this man classic you know? <laughs> so they look similar something like that oh man now, it really looks good, though, man. That's my honest opinion, feel me? Like, I really love the look of those. I mean, after he showed me the style, like, I didn't even want to take them back, man. Because I was going to take them back, try to find me some uh, all-white g Fazos, Air Force Ones, man. I Man, they don't sell those nowhere. I'm, man, I'm definitely been trying to look for those. And even after he showed me these, like, instead of taking them back, I end up buying some... For my mom's you feel me i mean she got them like this so that's how they came so she liked the way they fit like that i have no idea how the fuck they did that shit but that's how they came out the box i think these are the um yeah focus in on that yeah yeah cloud form but I guess they like soft, like the, the Tempur-Pedic, Tempur-Pedic or some shit though, man. But man, if you like this method, man, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, like, subscribe, man, because I'm definitely going to try to get them Air Force Ones, bro. And uh, that's me, and I'm Mark Rose, and I'm out, man.